Hi everyone, this is the video most of you have been waiting for. So I'm going to talk about how big is Rayo's number. So what is Rayo's number and what makes it so big, bigger than any named number? It is often claimed as the biggest named number. It is named after a guy named Augustine Rayo. It was originally defined in a big number competition at MIT in 2007. So what is its definition? In Rayo's own words, it is the smallest positive integer bigger than any finite positive integer named by an expression in the language of the first order set theory with a Google symbols or less. So what does that mean? So basically, Rayo's number is the smallest number bigger than any finite number that could be defined with a Google symbols or less. It all depends on the word definable. In other words, any number that could be defined with a Google symbols or less, that number has to be smaller than Rayo's number. For example, um, let's look at some big numbers, like Graham's number, G64. It is obvious that Graham's number could be defined with less than the Google symbols. Um, basically, you can look at the uh, Wikipedia article. I think Graham's number could easily be defined with less than a couple hundred symbols. Or even way less than that. Same thing for tree 3 and also SCG 13. They are very very big number but they could easily be defined with maybe a couple hundred symbols. And um, same for another big number, Loader's number, which is much much bigger than the SCG 13. And Loader's number uh, is an output from a C program which consists of um, less than 512 characters. So again, loader's number, although it is very big, but it could be easily defined within a couple hundred characters. Um, let's, let me give you one example. So let's say you define a function, let's say fx as scg. Um, a iterated SCG functions, let's say SCG of SCG da 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 of SCG 13, and there are in total SCG 13 number of SCG functions. So in other words, it will be it could be written in this way, SCG. So this one means as this function SCG iterated for SCG 13 number of times. So you could define fx as this humongous number um, and then what you what, what you can do next is you can define another function g of x so you can define g of x as fx of x but iterated for fx number of times so this i mean this number is already way 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 bigger than scg 13 and this new function that you created is even way more powerful or way bigger than the original one. And you can keep going forever, you know. You can keep create bigger and bigger functions. There's kind of low limit on how big a function you can, you can make. And the thing for Rayo's number is that as long as... Um, your function that you created um, is could be defined with less than a Google symbols, then Rayo's number has to be bigger than your function. It's safe to say that no one will ever define a number with a Google symbols. Why? Because um, the number of seconds since the Big Bang is around 10 to the 17 seconds which is one followed by 17 zeros. And let's say a person or even a computer can write 
at the fastest speed possible, which is one symbol per Planck time. And the Planck time is the smallest、uh, time scale in physics, which is around 10 to the minus 44 seconds, which is a very, very short amount of time. So let's see if you can write one symbol per Planck time. Let's see how many you can write since the Big Bang. So the number of Planck times since the Big Bang is equal to 10 to the 17 times 10 to the minus, I mean 10 to the 44, because there's 10 to the 44 Planck time per second, which is equal to around 10 to the 61 Planck time. So even if you can write one symbol per Planck time since the beginning of Big Bang, until now you could only write about 10 to the 61 symbols, which is Way less than a Google. Even if you somehow could write a Google symbols since the Big Bang, well, there's another problem. That is,、um, you don't have. There's not enough space in the observable universe for you to write out your number, because the number of atoms or particles in the observable universe is just around 10 to the 80. Which is a big number, but of course, this is smaller than a Google. That means, even if you can write each symbol on each atom or particle, you will run out of article particles in the universe before you can finish writing down your number or your function. So, in other words,、um, no one will ever define a number. Or a function that has a Google number of symbols, and also there's not enough digital storage for any person or a computer to store a Google symbols. Rayo's number is not computable because there's not enough storage space for any computer program to contain a Google symbols. And、uh, so all these numbers here, they are computable. Even though this number is computable, but Rayo's number is not. And it's safe to say that no one will ever know、uh, how big Rayo's number is, or even what Rayo's number is, because there's no limit on how powerful we could define a symbol. And Rayo's number is bigger than any number. They could be defined with a Google symbols or less. So basically, it's just、um, we only know that Rayo's number is just very, very big.、Um, basically, bigger than anything we could ever conceive. But of course, I mean, some people will say, "Oh, I got a bigger one, maybe Rayo's number plus one, or something like you know,、um, change the definition of." Rayo's number to instead of a Google symbols, you change it to a Googleplex symbols, but that is just a naive extension or a lazy extension. So basically, you're just、um, extending、um, your number based on Rayo's number. If any fact about Rayo's number is that the person who defined This number, Arpison Rayo, is actually a philosopher, not a mathematician. And I think that's a very funny fact. But I mean, it's not hard to understand that because Rayo's number is more like a thought experiment rather than a real mathematical function. It's kind of like a play of words. So it all depends on the word definable. Is the meaning is just you know, its definition is the big is,、uh, is that Rayo's number is the smallest number bigger than any finite number that could be defined with a Google symbols or less. So it's something like、uh, a play of words. So there we have it, Rayo's number. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.